Yes. Uh, Romans chapter 4, verse 7 and 8. Who are blessed people, even Jesus himself gave in the Beatitudes, blessed are those, blessed do this. Yes, in Romans chapter 4, blessed are those who lawless did are forgiven. And though who sin are covered, blessed is the man to whom the Lord shall not impute sin. It is blessed for everyone. Amen. Uh, Sometimes we used to think when we receive uh, some, how to say, uh, worthy, it is blessed. But the scriptures say, Blessed are those who lawless did are forgiven, mm -hmm. and whose sin are covered, and bless the man to whom the Lord shall not impute sin. Right. It is blesses, the greatest blesses upon us. Thank you. Amen. I think I think this is from Psalms 32, right? Yes. Yes. You know, um, and I, I say this often that we ought to be the most joyful people on planet earth because our sins have been forgiven. I think that if we're not walking around with joy, I don't think we realize that our sins have been forgiven. Maybe they haven't been forgiven. Maybe you don't realize that. But you know, I believe Jesus Christ. If Jesus says that your sins are forgiven, your sins are forgiven. It's just like the thief on the cross. You know, Jesus told them, you will be in paradise with me today. I wonder if he doubted that. You know, I don't think I don't think so, right? He believed in Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is God. Jesus is the Messiah. If Jesus says something, it me it, we we believe it and we and he means it. So when Jesus forgives us of our sins, man, the joy, we're blessed. The joy of those whose sins are forgiven. You know, um, Jesus also said a parable or, or said a story once about somebody owing a little bit of money, some owing a lot of money, and they're both mm. forgiven, and he's like. Who do you think is going to be more grateful? And he's like the one that was forgiven lots of money. Well, there you have it. I'm not saying that you should go commit a whole bunch of sin and then ask for forgiveness. But, you know, when we come to Jesus Christ and we realize how wicked we are, we've been talking about this, you know, about sin and hating your sin. And But, you know, you realize that you are the sinner, not your husband, not your wife, not everybody else. I, My wife and I were talking a little earlier today and we talked about how I told her one of my pet peeves is when people say, we're all sinners, like like so casually, like you know we, we talk about sin and says well we're all sinners, and like yes and you don't hate it, right? So it's cool. No, it's not cool. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. We're, we're all sinners, so it's, so it's cool. Don't worry about it. Right. But one of the things that I did that, that I liked about what Ethan said one time was, he said, he mentioned something about sin being as though you have a cup, you're holding a cup of vomit. And you're about to drink this cup and, and, and think nothing of it. What would we do if someone gave you a cup of vomit and you're gonna and you're smelling it? You'd be disgusted. Oh, I don't want that. Don't give me that cup. Well, that's the way we should be right. treating sin, especially sin in our lives. Like it's disgusting. You know, it's Lord, the Bible says to hate what is evil. Lord, give me a hatred for evil, give me a hatred for sin. You know, right. uh, give me a love for your word, give me a love for for the for, for good things. This says cling to things that are good but this here man one of my favorite bible verses you know it's psalms 32 the joy of those whose sins are forgiven that's why we ought to be the most happiest people on planet earth because our sins have been forgiven you know our sins have been blotted out our sins it's just, it's just I, it's it's a beautiful thing it's it's um wow we've got a second chance here mm -hmm. you brought up the the thief on the cross and I think that's such a beautiful thing because there's really there's really two things happening there. Jesus forgives this man who is probably in the last hours of his life, maybe less. Mm -hmm. That that all that guy could do is repent. He couldn't he couldn't do anything else. There was no works. What work can you do when you're hanging on the cross? <laughs> You've lived your your whole life in sin, right? So Jesus forgives this man, tells him, today you're going to be with me in paradise. 
And then at the same time, he debunks any possibility of any work systems at all. But think about that. Think about all the cults. Think about Roman Catholicism. Think about anything, anything other than biblical Christianity. And right there, at that moment, Jesus says, you're going to be with me today in paradise. And he, that, he hadn't worked at all. Not, not one bit. Mm -hmm. Amen for that. You know, the footnote on that, on those verses, it says, um, from our Bible here, it says, King David was guilty of serious sins, adultery, deceit, oh, yes. and murder. Yeah, when he acknowledged his guilt, confessed it to God, and experienced God's forgiveness, he found joy. Mm -hmm. uh, right. When we experience God's forgiveness, we should be joyful. Mm -hmm. So you're right, Pastor. There's probably people that aren't haven't experienced that. Right. Or they maybe they haven't repented. Mm -hmm. The debt off your shoulders that you don't have to. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, some people accuse the Apostle Paul of, of saying just what, what you had said a few minutes ago, Ponzi. You, you even said it. I'm not saying go do a bunch of sin so you can experience forgiveness. That's what some people were accusing the Apostle Paul of because he said that he said where sin abounded, grace abounded much more. Mm. That just means that where there was sin, there was there was the grace of God to cover it. But once you realize it, that you that you're offending a holy God sinning is the last thing you want to do you want to please him right you, know? right. you want to you want to live a, a a pure life a holy life right basically by saying that you're big you're, you're giving hope to all sinners you know right. as previous as it might be all sinners there's repent there's forgiveness of sins for all who repent right that's luke right luke yep 